Hello everybody, it is Ebontis here. And in this video, um, I wanna talk to you guys about advanced.gg. Now, some of you guys may know me from my Destiny guides and other videos. Some of you guys may watch me on Twitter or Twitch and may know about what I'm gonna tell you guys here shortly. Some of you guys were just curious about energy, uh, gaming supplements, advanced.gg, and you came into this video. Either way you got here, thank you for being here. Uh, that being said, I have been using advanced.gg for over a year, and I've been very happy with the results. As of recently, about a, a week ago, I had kind of a soft launch, and I can tell you guys now that I am now a partner for advanced.gg. So I got to join the family, and I'm very happy to do so, as I said, because I've been using it for a while. <laughs> cool thing is, after you guys watch this video, if you wanna go check it out, the link will be below in the description, or I'll pin one in the comments as well, so you guys can always have a way to get there. Uh, whenever you come across this video and you want to go check it out, you can use code Ebontis for 10% off, off at checkout for your entire order. So always going to be able to get a bonus there. But as this is kind of my grand launch of my partnership and joining the Advanced GG family, from now, June 9th through Sunday, June 13th, you guys are going to be able to get 30% off your order if you use code Ebontis30, all one word. So that should be active when you guys jump over there. Um... So when you guys use that, you'll get 30% off. It's a great deal. Let you guys check out maybe multiple flavors. If you're torn between two, get them both. We'll cover all that as we go. Um, but for me, I've been using Advanced GG for a while. And I've tried a lot of different things. I've tried the other gaming supplement brands. I'm not going to name them because you guys don't need to throw those under any bus or anything. Um, I've also tried some of the energy drinks. I've tried Bang. I think I've tried Rain. Uh, the Adrenaline Shock. Never really been a big fan of like Red Bull, Monster. Um, Rockstar, that type of... You've got a lot of options out there in the world of energy drinks, though, because caffeine is one of the most consumed substances in the world. Now, a decent amount of people get it from coffee and tea, which is also your choice, but I've never been a big fan of coffee in general. Just not my thing. Tea never really did it for me. A little less dislike than coffee, but still, that's my thing. Some of you guys may love your coffee, but the other side of depending on what you're consuming is what is in what you're consuming, and that comes to how many calories you're getting. Uh, if you go and have a sugar-free Red Bull, that's a choice if you like the flavor, but also I've never looked at their label. I don't know how transparent it is. If you go get a mocha frappuccino at Starbucks, there's a lot more than just the caffeine you're going for. Basically, you're getting a whole lot of sugar in there as well. So it depends on what you're going for, but if you're trying to be reasonable in the health department, um, drinking extra calories is a really good way to take in too many. So... Be careful what you drink, no matter what you take from this. Just be careful what you do consume when it comes to drinking your calories. It's one of the easiest ways to get too many. Now, the cool thing about focus, and we'll get to energy here in a little bit. Focus, you guys can see the strawberry lemonade on the right. There's zero calories in here. Zero. It is sugar-free. Now, that's not to say it doesn't taste good. It actually really does. That's why I like this stuff so much. Um, but it is sugar-free. So if you were trying to go on keto, Maybe you do intermittent fasting, or maybe you're just trying to make sure you don't consume a crap ton of calories in a beverage. This is a way to go. It does have a sweetener in there. It is going to be erythritol. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. E-R-Y-T-H-R-I-T-O-L. If you go look it up, you can learn about it. It is one of the sugar alcohols, if you guys have seen that on nutrition labels anywhere. Now, sugar alcohols don't always settle the same with some people. Some other sugar alcohols may go through the digestive tract, interact with the bacteria in there, and you may get a little bloated, might get a little gassy, may not have the best situation. Uh, nice thing about erythritol, about 90% of it goes into your bloodstream, and then it's just filtered out through your kidneys and passed when you go to the restroom. So much less is going to hit the digestive tract, much less interaction of uh, basically the bacteria, less bloating, less gas, stuff like that. So that's a good thing. Um, everybody's going to have different interactions, so you know your experience may vary. But it is one of the sugar alcohols that is going to be a lot, usually more favorable in the, you know, bodily experience for most people. So you're going to have a good flavor in here, but you're not going to have the calories to go with it. And it should be a little nicer to the body. Now, the cool thing about Focus is the label is completely transparent. You can go through here and see the milligrams of literally everything in, the, in each scoop. And then you're like, okay, there's not much I don't know what's in here. You're going to have a blend of vitamins. So B vitamins, you're going to have new level. Now, new level, as you can see on the top of focus, it says the first clinically proven ingredient for esports. That is new level, N-O-O-L-V-L. -L. There are scientific studies out there 
uh, at least one or two that I know for sure that have sat there and looked through. And they're actually going to help and show the difference of uh, cognitive function, reaction time, memory. A lot of what is in here, besides the uh, caffeine itself, which is 100 milligrams from sourced from green tea, um, you're going to be getting a lot of things that are healthy for your body. You're getting a lot of things that are going to help your brain function better, help you with memory, as I said, cognitive function. Just your mental, to, mental faculties up here are going to be in a better place. And depending on when and what you need this for, if I'm teaching class as a fitness instructor, you know, that's one of those things that's actually going to be a good time to be on my game. Two o'clock in the afternoon at work, you still got a project you got to knock out. This is a good way to go. Now, the nice thing about the blend of ingredients that they have in here, it's literally meant to give you a boost of energy, but it's not going to give you like the jitters. Um, it's also not going to have a crash involved because the way the blend is done, I just kind of go throughout my day. So I'm going to feel a bit more energized, but I'm not going to feel over the top. <clears throat> if you guys have ever taken pre-workout, I'm also not going to feel like my skin is tingling. If you guys have ever heard that. I'm going to have energy for whatever I need to do, um, and I'm going to be able to focus, but it's also going to give you things that are going to be healthy for your body. Uh, some of the vitamins and minerals that are in both of these two blends are going to help you with things like eye health, certain things that are going to help you with literally your eyes, uh, and your nerves. Um, as I said, it's going to help you with all of your thoughts and things of that nature. Ginseng's in here. You've heard of that one probably forever. But there's all those things that help with the like nerve receptors in your brain and in your body to help things just function better. Now, I can do a full breakdown if you guys want in a separate video, and I honestly would be happy to. Um, over every single ingredient and focus, if you guys are curious about that, just let me know. I'd be happy to do that in a separate video. But there's a lot of really cool stuff in there, and the label's going to show it all to you. Just Google it. You'll figure out all the cool stuff that's going on. So, basically a lot of good things going on in the tub. You can look at the entire label completely transparently. Look up every little milligram of how much, the serving, the dosage, everything's in there. And honestly, I've looked up everything. It's all good stuff. And I've been using it for about a year, and I love it. Now, they have a lot of flavors of both blends. So you're usually going to be able to find something you like. Now, is there a coffee one? No. So if you like coffee, it's about the only thing I can't help you. And it's hard to fake coffee. It really is. And that's one of the things about the advanced.gg, like exact, like higher ups. If they're going to do a flavor, they want it to be right. There's a lot of flavors probably on the cutting room floor, as editors would say. But the nice thing about it is, if they do release a flavor, they know they stand behind that flavor. There's been enough tasting. There's been enough testing. There's a large enough audience that likes that flavor that they know they're not just sending crap out there. So that's honestly a good thing. Each flavor that they do testing for is solid. Now, I'll read the label to you guys so you can read it. Um, going to help you with gaming, studying, working. Um... So created by industry-leading chemists, it's got a three to six hours of energy and focus with no crash. There's no fillers. And when I say no fillers, this is a little tube of chapstick, just for size reference. This is the tub. So you guys can see it's like, this is the lid, so that part comes off. You guys can see it's literally just about as tall as a thing of chapstick. And if you're going for size of the tub, it's about that big. The scoop on the inside is not massive either. You don't need this giant, you know, stuff floating around in there. Tube of chapstick, scoop, scoop. You guys can see how big it is. It's not that big. And the main reason is there's no fillers. There's no extra crap in there that you don't need. It's just literally the stuff that they want to give you. And that's it. It's just the good stuff. Um, so it can claim, contains clinically tested ingredients that improve mental performance and a healthier, more effective, better tasting alternative to sugary energy drinks. That's the label. But that basically covers most of the stuff I told you guys. You've got the science of why it is going to be zero calories. It's going to be healthy for whatever you're doing. It's got a boost of energy. 100 milligrams of caffeine. You want two scoops? Put two scoops in there. Um, you can get 200 milligrams of caffeine. Everybody has a different reception to caffeine, how strong it hits you, how much you need, how much of a tolerance you have built up for it. Um, everybody's got that piece to caffeine, so you can adjust as you need. But the nice thing is you can take as little or as much as you like that works for you. You're not stuck with, oh, I opened the can. I got to empty the whole thing or I'm going to waste it. Make as little or as much as you like. Now, the other side to this is energy. 
Now the energy blend, you guys can see it here, is going to be um, a similar blend, but it is going to include some electrolytes for hydration. So you're going to have calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium, those electrolytes that are going to help you actually be healthier in body movements. Um, I've actually used this as pre-workout. Now, if you like pre-workouts that make you tingle, it's not going to have that in there. But if you've ever wanted a bit more energy for a workout, for a run, for a lifting session, for hiking out in the wood, like whatever it may be for, if you wanted a li little bit more energy to get through your workout, this is the way to go. You're going to have electrolytes that are going to keep you hydrated, keep those minerals in you that your body needs. You're still going to get that boost of, you know, energy for that exercise that you're going to do. The difference here, this one has five calories, not a ton, but technically not zero. It's got a little bit of fiber in there. Uh, there's still zero added sugar and it's just still going to have that vitamin mix and still the caffeine and then a little bit of taurine in there as well. If you look up taurine, it's still good for you. So you've got electrolytes, still sugar free, and it's still going to help you with your energy, reaction, endurance, hydration, still going to help you with, you know, everything up in the brain, all this upstairs working well, but also give you things that are going to help you with your body, muscles, um, electrolytes, so you can last longer in a workout. So I've used it for both. I've used focus, you know, long editing sessions, late night streams, early morning classes that I teach. I've used energy for pre-workouts and I've honestly mixed them both interchangeably at times, depending on what I wanted to try. And overall, still good results across the board. If you're in more of a work focus situation, more of a, you know, detail thinking, studying, working, gaming, editing, high, you know, focus, focus. If you just need energy, though, like you've just got a long day ahead, you're going to be out somewhere, you've got stuff to do. Maybe you just need the blends. They're both good. They're both excellent. And the flavors, they're fantastic. Um, there's some flavors that I've got. My, a couple of my favorites are on screen right now. The Focus Strawberry Lemonade is literally in here right now. Um, and just to make it even more entertaining, what I will do, I will actually buy, green screen is messing this one up, so just a second. Uh, and you guys can see there's a lemon. I will actually take a lemon, cut it in half, squeeze it into here, put a scoop of this in, and my strawberry lemonade personally gets like elevated because I kind of like tart. I don't know if I killed all my sour taste buds with uh, warheads when I was younger. That's a discussion for another day. But I do like the, I like real lemonade that has that tartness to it. Sometimes you almost have the little bits of the lemon floating around in there, you know. I've actually used a citrus squeezer, so that's a piece. But that combination, it's really good, and it's almost a way to elevate it. Do you need the lemon in there? No, it still tastes really good without it, but that's just one of those things I actually enjoy putting in to kind of take the flavor, for me, just up a notch. Other people don't even need it. When it comes to the flavors, though, when you go browsing through the website, any of the flavors they've got listed are awesome. Of the ones I've tried, they've all been excellent, except maybe one or two that just don't hit my palate. But then I go look on Twitter and people absolutely love them. Everybody has different taste palettes. That's okay. It's personal preference. But I would say 80% of them that I've tried, damn good. Uh, there's just a couple that just didn't sit right with me, but it's a very short few. For me, my first one was Cherry Limeade. If you've ever been to Sonic and had a Cherry Limeade, you're in luck. If you like that, you're going to enjoy that flavor. The G1 Gummy Bear. If you've ever had the Haribo gummy bears, like the gold label up top, it's a gummy bear. Now, that one's going to be a little sweeter, obviously, but it's still never just smack you in the face sweet. They're going to be a little sweeter, but to me, I do enjoy sweets, but it's not like eating cam candy, except they, do, they encapsulate the flavor well, but they don't make it like eating candy. I know that doesn't make sense, but if you try it, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, they've got the electric frostberry. Uh, Frostberry is going to be a blend of kiwi, pineapple, uh, raspberry, and blueberry on the label, at least. And it's a really one that's hard to describe, but like all of those flavors are in there. It's almost like describing wine. It's like the layers, the bouquet, the, I've got a little kiwi taste. The back end's got a little sweeter with the pineapple, the berry, the tartness of those are in there. Like the flavors that they do on these blends are really, really good. Sweet slam and grape. If you like grape, that's your jam right there. It's, it's grape in a tub. You're good to go. Uh, cactus kiwi lime, literally exactly what you would expect. Kiwi lime, put them together. Um, you've got Astacross nasty mystery. Uh, that one is one that is a kind of a mystery flavor. They were doing that as a fun promo. 
but in tasting and everything, it seems to be melon flavored cantaloupe, um, cantaloupe, honeydew, kind of a blend. There's something else going on in there, but it's still a pretty good one. Triple berry wreck. It's literally triple berry, blackberry, blueberry, raspberry. It's berries. Um, but the strawberry lemonade that you guys see, that has been my favorite. I've got four empty tubs over there that I've been going through since it came out. That's like, that's my high top right now. I love strawberry lemonade. And the fact that I can have strawberry lemonade without the calories, it's fantastic. On the other side, you've got energy. Now, the one on screen, Dream Team Punch, it's fruit punch, and it's damn good. Um, that's an easy to go to. You've also got cotton candy. Uh, cotton candy is going to be one of those that's going to be a little more confectionery that makes sense. Um, if that makes any sense. It's it's still not like eating cotton candy at a fair, but it will remind you of that in a way that's not quite as like not a little too much. Now, this one is sold out right now. It's the Magic Rainbow Sherbet. Um if you take, like, literally go to the store, find rainbow sherbet, and take a scoop of it, if you've ever liked that, it's like they, that one is still blows my mind how much they nailed that flavor, because I'm just, if I can have that for dessert all the time, I would. It's so good. Now, there are a couple flavors I want to show these to you guys. You've got birthday cake and strawberry shortcake. These two flavors specifically were designed to be actually blended with milk as well. You can have them in water. Still tastes pretty good. Um, but they're even better in a milk type beverage. You can do oat milk. You could do almond milk. You can do regular milk, whatever you prefer for your blend. That's fine. The birthday cake is going to be like a vanilla cream. Um, if you put that milk together, it's going to be kind of like drinking birthday cake and it's really good. Uh, and then for the strawberry shortcake, if that one with milk, uh, some people just rave about that one. It's very, very tasty, cool strawberry flavor. And it's different than the strawberry lemonade. They've got a strawberry on both labels, but I can promise you they don't taste the same. That strawberry shortcake really is its own thing. And I've actually messed around with chocolate milk with both of these. Chocolate milk and birthday cake, chocolate cake. Like you've got the kind of vanilla cakey flavor of the birthday cake powder with chocolate cake. Be careful how you blend this one because you're either going to froth up the milk and it's going to get a little foamy. So blending with milk, you got to be a little careful or let it settle and cool down. But, you know, there's the thing to that. If you got questions, again, I can go through all this. Strawberry shortcake and chocolate milk, chocolate covered strawberry. So the cool thing about all of these is if a flavor sounds good, it's going to be good with just water. Some of those you can mix with other stuff. But if something like frostberry is good and maybe you like fruit infused water, maybe just like throw a piece of pineapple piece of kiwi in your water, then throw this in there. Maybe it just spices it up. So if a flavor sounds good to you, my advice, try it. From now through Sunday, you guys are going to get the chance to use my code EBONTIS30 for 30% 30 off your whole order. Get one shaker so you can mix it up easy. Buy a tub, maybe two. Um, and you're going to get, you know, your 20 servings if you do double scoops. Or if you do single servings, you get 40 servings for this one. And with the code... They are not that bad in price. So uh, first, I want to say thank you to the Advanced GG family. I've enjoyed their products for a year, and they were nice enough to bring me into the family. And I'm very, very happy to support the brand because I use it on a daily basis. And hopefully you guys try this stuff and enjoy it as well. Um, again, whenever you find this video, Cody Bontis will work. But Bontis 30 will be for short window here. And then for me. If you guys did enjoy this video, drop a like below. If you have questions about anything in this video, let me know. If you guys are interested in seeing a full nutrition facts video on advanced.gg, I will be happy to do that video, break it all down, kind of give you the gist of what's going on inside the tub. Uh, if you are new to the channel and you enjoyed this or you enjoyed Destiny or if you enjoy gaming in general and you want to help support the channel, you can hit that subscribe button. You can hit the alert bell, see new videos come to you. If you make sure you want to not miss a flavor video or something, you can do that. If you want to find me on Twitter, it's Ibantis there. And then I also stream a variety of things over on Twitch. Thank you guys very much. If you guys do choose to buy some of this, um, feel free to tweet at me. Um, whether the fact that you purchased it or once you show up or if you enjoy the taste or anything, tweet at me and I'll happily like retweet you guys. Thank you guys for that. Um, just make sure you use that code. You guys are amazing. I hope you enjoy this stuff. I don't have a whole lot of products that I have related to my channel. And if I'm going to give you one that I'm going to talk about this much, I'm very happy to support it because I personally use it. So thank you guys very much. Have an awesome one. Hopefully I'll see you soon.